on, on the positive side, things that actors, I think, do really, really well uh, when they're prepared is they come in and they enjoy the process. Um, they come in like a human being, not like uh, something that needs a job or who is trying or who is trying too hard. Um, to come in and say hi, uh, you know, know how to smile and talk about things other than the business is really important. Um, a lot of times a director might want to chat with you. I know we chat with people all the time. For me, it's, it's a way to kind of set a barometer about where the person exists in reality, and then you see how they change when they start performing, and then you can kind of you know, gauge that. Um, so to be relaxed, an actor that comes in and owns the room, it's, it, it still blows me away sometimes. These performers come in and they're just so amazingly talented and gifted, and when they, were, and they do their, their song or they rehearse their monologue or the scene work, and it's, it's good enough to be viewed right then and there. Um, that keeps it exciting for us. Um, that makes us really happy because our directors are happy when they're that good. And, and just being respectful, um, honoring the process. Uh, I, I like to think that I'm a little on the old school side in terms of um, doing it traditionally, um, sending a thank you card, um, addressing letters and, and all of your correspondence correctly, not to, you know, asking a casting director to represent you or asking an agent if you can be seen for a project. You know, knowing, knowing your part in the process is really important. We're very fortunate that we have a pool of directors that, regardless of the theater they work in, they will often request us to be their casting director because we have an existing working relationship. You start to get to know who people like. Um, you know, it is a subjective business, and you do need to know the tastes of the people that you're catering to. Um, so that helps. If it's a if it's a new play, um, if it's a director we haven't worked with, we research it the same way to see if we know anyone in common. Um, to see the kind of work they do, where they went to school, if there are any articles on a person to talk about their sensibility or their approach to the business, absolutely. Because it just makes it easier to fill the dead time, um, things to talk about. Because again, at the end of the day, we are all people. You know, We are doing a job and it's an intense job and it, and it takes a lot of focus and time. But there's always a couple of minutes in between and you have to chat and you have to make people feel human and you know, uh, uh, reset the moment every now and then and, and divert conversation. So absolutely, yeah, a little research definitely helps. Um, I think that's one of the more exciting processes for the level of the industry my office functions within. We access um, A-list talent that everyone knows just by their name and, the, and their you know, past accomplishments. And then we're also working with people fresh out of school, people who don't go to college, that they come straight to New York after high school or after living wherever they live. And our job is to find everybody. Um, if I'm not constantly searching out new talent, then I, I become less vital in the casting process. If I show the same director the same people over and over again, eventually they don't need me to do it, they could call them themselves. Um, I don't think a casting director is a human resources person. While we may function on the human resource side, if you were to put us into a business model, that clearly is a direct correlation. Um, but I don't work for an accounting firm, I work in the arts, I work in a subjective um, industry that's about you know dreams and, and hopes and that's all part of the equation for us. It's a lot of variables that you really can't identify. So we see festival shows. Um, we go to showcases. Actors are always self-promoting themselves in New York. Uh, they form theater companies. They form uh, uh, groups of not working actors get together and they'll put together a showcase. Um, it's our job to go and see that kind of stuff. If I can't go or my partner Gail can't go, we have an intern staff that will send out because we've trained them to look at things the way we like them looked at, and they'll bring us back the three or four people that you know stood out in a production. Um, if you're good, even if you're in a bad show, you'll still be good. And if I do my job right, I can identify that you're you know you're the diamond in the rough. You're the you're the cream that rose to the top in a show. Um, I love finding people that I think are talented, um, that have. Uh, their eye on the business the way I, I agree with, and I'll do whatever I can to help support them. Um, we, we are very happy to be able to segue actors to meet agents eventually, because that's part of the process. 
you know, we can find talent through agents. We can do it through just the unions. Um, Actors Access uh, is another great way to get at, at talent as well. But, you know, I need to meet people. You, know, you need to spend a little time with them. And after they audition for you five or six times, you start to get a sense of them as a person a little bit, and I think that helps.